What's going on guys, this is the Review Artist and today I'm bringing you the Logitech Driving Force GT Steering Wheel Controller Review for PlayStation. So this controller here is one of the official Gran Turismo um, controllers, the steering wheel and it does come with pedals and um, as you know it is Gran Turismo so it's only for PlayStation and it works fully only with Gran Turismo but it does work with other racing games such as Need for Speed and I haven't really tried anything else. Oh yeah, it works with Midnight Club as well. But let's take a look at the pedals, shall we? So here are the pedals themselves. It has this sort of carpet um, look um, from a car. So the car carpet in the car, the front with the brake button, well, pedal, and the gas and acceleration pedal. Now, the brake ones, because it's just really for braking, it is a bit stiffer and it only goes back a certain amount, but whereas the gas and engine is much easier to press. Um, not really because I tend to use this more obviously as it's gas and rather than the brake, but it makes it more realistic and it goes back more further. So that's the pedals and the steering wheel that I just showed you. Let me tell you and show you what it's like when switching this on. So I'm just going to have a quick setup now show you how to connect everything. So this here are the main ports um, I actually had to lift the controller a bit more so you can see in. So one of them is this one and this connects to the pedals and it's a bit like a computer wire and all you do is just connect this like that. So underneath the PlayStation here you can see the two USB ports so you get your USB and simply press it into one of these. It can be either, I just put it in the first one. And the last thing you do is get your um, DC, what goes directly into the wall, and this is the adapter, so you just clip it in here, and as you can see, the steering wheel moves. And you will also need to clamp this down, so you just put it on the table and tighten these, you also get another one on the right hand side and once that's done then you're good to go so here's the main controller itself and looking at it it does seem pretty much like a playstation controller with these here and these there so some of the buttons are very similar to a playstation controller for example and as you can see here you have the arrow keys what you also have on the controller on this driving force you have the PlayStation button, what you have on a normal PlayStation pad, the select and start, and also the PlayStation X, square, triangle and circle, what you also have on your PlayStation controller. And also, these L3 and R3, you find them here at the top. And let me just show you the buttons at the back. So taking a look here, I'm not sure how well you will see it, but um, at the on the right hand side here, you would see it says R2 but obviously from this side it looks like that's the left because it is the left but on the driver's side this would be the right where you get R2 L2 at the top here on the left hand um, now these um, they actually work as R1 this is R1 and this is L1 and these are like the floppy paddle gearbox gear bad pad whatever you want to call it, what you get in some sports cars, which is really cool and I tend to use that more than the actual gear changing knob itself. So let me just show you more about the gearbox and how it looks compared to, well, if you have any other controllers, you'd know what that some of these either look sporty or look like just an ordinary car one. Let me just show you what this one looks like. So this one here, as you can see, does look very normal. You get a minus plus, what means down is to go back a gear and bringing it up to the plus sign. Well, towards you is to go up a gear. And that's really all it does, so it's not like a full gearbox. We have one, two, three, four and whatnot. So it's just a back and a plus button. What really puts everything into one place and makes it easier for when racing if you wanted to use this and at the top here um you can see it's like um well it looks off like that um leather 
type, but it is not leather, it's plastic, and the buttons here, well not buttons, sorry, the screws here make it look like 